a process that if you are using Revit, if you're using Vim, every single design team should be doing this. I've got a lot of my architect friends out there. You are actually the ones who need to hear this more than anything. Right. But keeping, even if you draft everything, you should still keep the model on in the view. Exactly. And that's going to tell Dynamo to search all the doors, because remember we're using element by category. And it's going to say search for all the doors. I want you to search for their level, and then I want you to search for their mark. So I'm going to click Run. And you'll see what happens is we get a list. And it's given us level, level one, and mark number two. So that's not right, because we know that there's 18 doors in this project. So why is it not giving us 18 values for our list? Well, that has a lot to do with list lacing. And so Dynamo has a way of managing lists when you have multiple inputs. In order to edit the way it combines lists, we modify what's called list lacing. And to modify it, you would actually right click where this um, vertical line is. So I'll zoom in a little further so you can see it. On element.getParameter by value, value by name, there's a straight line here. If you right click that, you can actually change the lacing value. So let me move this over so you can see it. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click lacing and you can see we have shortest, longest and cross product. So let me just tell you a little bit about what each one of these does before we change it. When thinking about combining two lists and multiple pieces of data in Dynamo, I like to use a diagram that's two parallel lines. So imagine our elements, which in this case is our door elements, are one parallel line. So we have door element number one, number two, number three, number four, and so on, all the way up to number 18 in this project. Then we have our parameter names. So you can see we have our list of parameter name values for level and our list of parameter name values for mark. Within each one of those parameter name values is going to be a list. So for example, levels might be level one, level two, level three, level four. And number two might be our marks, which would be our door tags. And so when we're talking about lacing and using what's uh, set as the default, which is shortest, what's happening is it's going to be Dynamo is taking door element number one and door element number two, and it's doing the shortest possible combination. So that means that what you're getting, as you can see in the resulting list on the right hand side, is going to be level, the, the, the first item in our list is going to be the level for door number one, whereas the second item in the list is going to be the mark for door number two. And then we're not getting any information for door number three, four, five, six, et cetera, et cetera. So when we move on to the longest lacing, it's going to do the same thing, except when it continues throughout the numbers, it's going to use the last value for the parameter mark. So for example, door number one, you could see we're given the level, which is notated as pink on the right hand side. So that's level one. But then door number two through 18, we're actually given the mark value. So that could be useful, but maybe not. But basically, it's replacing the first value in your list with the first input parameter name. Finally, the cross product is going to give us give us the most possible combination of, of data using what we've input. And so this is the one that we're actually going to use. And you could see what I'm, what I'm showing here with the magenta, the blue, and the green arrows is that we have a series of lists now. And each one of these lists represents each door element. So door element number one, you could see on the right hand side with our resulting lists is actually going to be on level one, and it's going to be door mark number one. And you can see door element number two, which is blue, is going to be level one, and it's going to be door mark number two. And then door element number three is going to be level one and door mark number three. So you can see by using cross product, it's actually going to give us an individual set of lists and data, and it's actually going to look for each one of those parameters that we wanted. So taking that into consideration, let's go back into Dynamo. Let's right click where it says lacing select lacing and change it to cross product. Now, if I click run, you'll see I'm actually returning a list based on each element and there should be 17 or 18 based on a, a zero start index, 18 doors and we have the level and the mark information for each one.